I'm an alcoholic, I think, though, in that sense. I oh, quite like, no, no, I'm not, because I, I like to taste the whiskey. I, alcohol taste. I, I like to drink. I like to drink. I like to drink. you like it or not, I just like, What's in that bottle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. no, I like um, to drink and I like punching women. Whatever. He's really painting a gold picture of himself here. Nah. Hello, welcome to the What's happening? We've got episode four of the What's Happening podcast, and we're here again with Alex. We've got Gary behind the camera today, and we've got Dean Coglin on today. Dean's the host of the Mild High Club. He's also a stand-up comedian. I'll put a link to all of his like social medias and that down in the little description. Um, Dean, how are you? Doing? I'm all right, mate. Yeah. Good. What's happening? What is happening, Dean? Good to have happening? you on. Yeah, it nice is one. Very good to have you on. Yeah, it's um, nice to be here. In- Mogwai oh, yeah, Studios or something. Mogwai Tattoo Studio, just off Mount Pleasant in Liverpool One as well. Um, yeah, big thank you to them today because they've let us use the tattoo studio to film the podcast where we usually film is getting the roof fixed. So, last minute they come in and save the day. Um, Dean, first thing nice I want to talk about, um, something that we've seen or i seen on your podcast the other week. I forget who you had on it, but you were talking about that you go picking your own like, mushrooms and that. Yeah, man. What, like, I've always been proper and see by it. Yeah. What's the actual process behind it? Of picking them? Yeah. No, well, I don't it's just picking them. <laughs> 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 Let's go there, it's on there, lad. Let's pick it up. That'll do it, that one. You'll have a go, I'll see you there, you No, but I mean, like, 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 where do you just go for them? Like, like, oh, do you know what? You pick yeah, it and not me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've thought okay, okay, it yeah. before, but I just know, no, I look, I picked the wrong one. And yeah, like, man. It well, just finished me off. Once you know what you're looking for, they're very easy to to find do you know what I mean like a, is, is it like a black spot on the top or something no they've got like little nipples on the top of them mm. sometimes you've got like a black spore ring on the the yeah. uh, the stem or whatever the stems are always dead weird as well they're yeah. Yeah. crinkly and that um, and there's loads of little bit things you can do like if you peel it they've got like a little thin layer on the top of them and that so loads yeah. but um, there's a there's a I'm going to tell everyone about this magic mushroom map if you look at that, it tells you where, where like, like the best conditions for them growing in, and you just find one of the. Like, Can you the, get around there? Find one like of the squares. I, I'm, I'm a bit clueless. Anywhere, don't you? Yeah, I mean, it's round here. Is shit for it for some reason. Yeah. Like I, I've been going like an hour away, like Yorkshire ways and that. All the fields well, where there's like grow, sheep and all that. Well, man, you said loads of them growing the lake this stick at the lake. Yeah, man. Like yeah, yeah, like yeah, really yeah, good for them. yeah. That's it. So like, like <laughs> when you go picking them, they're gonna <laughs> run out. Though. So when you said Yorkshire, I was gonna say it's all the dead bodies. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so you're making them grow. <laughs> all the compost that is just really helping it. Uh, uh, but um, have you ever had any like weird like I, obviously like whenever I've done them, it's been mostly like. Quite positive. Yeah, yeah, Have you ever had any like bad trips on them? I haven't really had a bad trip. The other day I had like a, a weird trip, like sort of fucking sitting, trying to do like uh, like meditation. Like have you, you know guided meditation? Yeah, you yeah, get the yeah. option that I've got is a headspace. Yeah, but they like try and tell you like to, to meet your spirit guide and shit, man. And they're like, going to tell you what oh, like yeah. little messages from the spirit realm or whatever. So I was doing one of them. Some Derek Accord. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, There's man. Well, it's not even it's not like ghosts it's like or spiritual, nothing. Spiritual, like more like. Metal. Just the energies and yeah, shit that you yeah, that yeah, you yeah. like getting in on. Um, and one time we done it, it was mad. Like you know, she sort of just like saying to you like, "Oh, you're going into this house." And then I, in in my head, I was like, "Oh, there's a big stained glass window there." Oh, yeah, and then yeah. she goes, "There's a big stained glass window in front of you." I was like, "Fuck off." Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, that type yeah, of shit. Like, yeah. so, like, oh, wait, that's a bit. so then we done one of them on mushrooms and I was like, oh, this will be mad. Like, because the first time I sort of like, I, I'm not really good at meditating, but I sort of went off somewhere and was like, I say I was in this house fucking. And then, um, I don't know, on mushrooms, and it was like, oh, your spirit guides are here to see you. Um, yeah. And he just had, like, this moody face, and I was like, ah, I don't like yeah, you. Yeah, not into Who's him, this? Like- yeah, yeah. And then, like, this big fucking, like, tower started growing out the ground, and I was, like, climbing up the tower, just couldn't get up, just kept going. And I was just like, oh, this is awful. <laughs> this, like, <laughs> fucking... Yeah, you know what I mean? Experience. Yeah, it was like, mad. Didn't fucking sign up for exercise. Yeah, yeah. 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 it was dead yeah. weird, man. It was just... But it wasn't, no, like, scary. Triceps, though. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't, like, scary or nothing. It was just, like... Do you know when oh, you sort of had a, a, a bit of a, a weird dream? Yeah, you go, yeah. Oh, that was mad. Like, yeah. was it's obviously on, something yeah. in the back of your mind, or something you fucking pushed down, yeah. or something that like, starts I mean, coming I, I, out. I, I'm scared. I, I've never, I haven't done anything really like that. But I had, um, I feel I've got some suppressed like memories and that. Yeah, yeah. If I do them, I'll just be, I, th- I just lose the plot or something. I don't know. The thing is, like, you, you've just got to be like, I, I'm proper paranoid with stuff. So I, I was like going in dead easy, man, little two grams yeah, and that. Yeah. Didn't even like see anything the first time I'd done right. them. I just my, felt my, boss. Micro dosing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, it's different because like 
microdosing's like 0.5 of a exactly. gram yeah, that you'd have like every and day. Go, go make them and those microdosing and like he's proper in. Do it with LSD as well. well. All the time. Can you do it with LSD? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I had the maddest thing, like the maddest thing ever do happened to me on the acid. You can do it pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can probably do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But like, I yeah, used to. Lemon with your skin. <laughs> me and my mate were in ours and um, well, we were in his and um, we've, we've, we've got like a tab of acid each and a 2CB and like I, I didn't know whether I'd want to make like do the 2CB on top of the tab of acid yeah. I thought we'll just do the tab of acid first see how we feel in an hour and then play it by ear yeah. so all the things I was sitting in my hand we put David Atom on right Class. and on all this <laughs> it was the maddest thing I've ever seen I was sitting on my bed and we were watching one where it had like um, it was like about like the Great Barrier Reef and shit like mm. that and like I kept touching my quilt and my bags, it felt like water. Like yeah. I was like, and then the, the, oh, it was the scattiest thing I've ever seen. It was showing you like footage of like the Great Barrier Reef, with the, and it looked amazing. Like all the colours were like dead violets yeah. and shit like that. And then the other way, at the end of every day with that, and the documents it gives you like a life lesson. Like you be like, ah, oh, them tigers are cool. And it's like only three of them left in the yeah. wild. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, so I was sitting there, and we're watching it, and I was getting proper invested in the Great Barrier Reef. I was thinking this is the sickest thing. Like I was in my head, I was thinking I definitely need to go travel and go see the yeah. Great Barrier. I was like, like yeah. I was getting like, I was getting dreadlocked. Thought like, he's going to travel. He's going to travel and see the Great Barrier Reef. I've done it. I've been there. Been the yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Oh, lads, listen now. Like, I was watching it and I was like, I felt like I was there, you yeah. know what I mean? And then it just switched to like footage of it today and it was all grey and grey, black and dead. Yeah. And we were Shit. like, what the fuck? Like, I, it nearly blew in my yeah, whole yeah, yeah. fucking night. It's like, proper grey, like, like, dead sad. He was just watching it and she went, ah, the Dean It's back to her getting back to her. We went and had a joint in the garden and it was. It took me like half an hour to roll two joints because I just kept getting distracted by like, Mm, absolutely, I had this big climate change. Yeah, like just everything. Just like, <laughs> like, no, but like, we put another one on, and like, I'd be rolling this joint, and then I'd see a leopard on the telly, and I'd be like, mm. I need to pay full attention to this fucking yeah. leopard. Like, Did you like, say leopard on. or leper? No. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been anything, lad. Like, I was seeing a leopard, so cut, like, and then we, so we go in the garden to smoke Couldn't these see joints. A leopard, like. And that would have ruined the whole night. Yeah, that would have been. I've seen a around. thing about chimpanzees getting leprosy now. Really, yeah. <laughs> Mad little tangent there, yeah, yeah, but... Oh, no. Well, I'll yeah, touch yeah, back yeah. on that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to just miss out on, on that. But yeah. I mean, it was just dead sad. They had chimpanzees <laughs> well, and leprosy. Well, like, but, like, just no had, like, like, boils and shit all over the face uh, and that, yeah. The plague. It was dead sad. That sounds a really that, sad <laughs> point. <laughs> that just brought me back to Flight of the Concords. Yeah. Did you ever watch Flight yeah, of the Concords? Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> the song when he's going... <laughs> People in the streets getting diseases from yeah. monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> Stop <laughs> touching those monkeys. monkeys. Yeah. Yeah, 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 man. It's sick. <laughs> Get leprosy from them now. Leprosy, I yeah. think. It's on it. So it was on the acid anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. You're like and a then, um, uh, that was a, that, that went off on a fucking. I've just had a joint outside before, so I'm a little bit spacey. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just throw it <laughs> yeah, off. Right, I right. took me off guard. That chimps was left to see that. Um, but yeah, so we uh, goes in the garden to smoke. <laughs> 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 and, um, with that, yeah, I had my earphones in and that, and we were chilling. And I've been looking at the sky and like it felt like stars were like tunnels and shit like mm. that. It was weird. I was just looking at stuff and like there was just shit happening. Stuff that, happens, yeah. yeah it's it was, weird. It yeah. was a very and then like all of a sudden I felt myself like floating up and like lifting up a little bit. Your mate just pissing you off. Practicing on my own. I'm thinking I'm definitely not floating. Like I was like, of course I'm not. And I thought, what I'm gonna do? I'll just check behind me and if I can still see like the chair and shit like that. In my head, that was my rationality. I was like, the chair is still there. I'm not floating. And I've looked behind me and like I could just see myself like beneath myself. And I was thinking, what the fuck's going on? And it was horrible. At the time, it was sick, but like, no, I was just looking at myself. It was weird. And then I remember thinking, like, if I just died. <laughs> like what the fuck's going on man yeah, it was yeah, crazy yeah. Yeah, it was mad. weird lad um, it seems to be a common theme with fucking you Acid and David Attenborough yeah. <laughs> last week we're in a fucking 700 dominoes yeah, or something yeah, yeah. Oh, no, like, we spent loads of money on dominoes me and my mate did the Acid and my mate talks and we were sitting watching the telly and my mate ordered the dominoes and then he kept forgetting he'd ordered the dominoes and he ordered it like three or four times and spent all the money on dominoes like, we, just, we just had different dominoes coming to the house and we were like is that what I live near? I was like, oh, but like, for some reason, all three of us kept going the door, you know what I mean? Oh, Answering so the door, like, what's happening? Yeah, man, man that's too expensive. Is, like, one Domino's is just too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> we just kept going in. We bought like, Ben and Jerry's with it on. Yeah, yeah. I did talk. Oh, stress, that's stressful, oh, that. It was weird, like. I'd have to get a crisis loan to get a second down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't even a Tuesday, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it no, cost the that move, that. It was horrible. It's probably Tory behaviour, like yeah. a yeah. Domino's yeah. not on a Tuesday, that, yeah. But yeah, fucking, I, I 
I went on Twitter um, earlier in the week and I asked other people to tell us about like, any mad experience that you've had like, on the acid and we've got a few here. The funniest one I've seen. Um, <laughs> it says a lad I know was on the mushies in the dam and he thought he was a bottle of milk and was trying not to spill himself for ages. <laughs> <laughs> That's class, that. He just didn't want to jizz on people. That's yeah. all it was. <laughs> how, you walk, how would he walk? No, I don't... He yeah. wouldn't walk. You no, you wouldn't stay still. Just there. sit on, a, on the side table. Make sure table. the cap was screwed yeah, up yeah, before yeah, you yeah. went for the desk. You won't be moving nowhere for ages. <laughs> Anyone that come near you, you'd be like, fuck off. Oh, get away from me. I yeah, love yeah, milk I as well, you know. Yeah, there's a few My mate told me he'd done them in, in Amsterdam and he said he was watching his legs like 40 yards down the road. <laughs> and he was just going, wow. <laughs> wow. Like, but obviously everyone's just looking at him in the street, just going. Just walking around. Nah, but he said he could cool just man. see his legs down the road and he was just like, what the fuck is that? One of my mates who he, he watches the podcast, to be fair. Um, he said he did mushrooms once and uh, it's the only story I've got really. And it was like a, like a atlas on his wall, like a big map. And yeah. then he said he just sat there in Europe and America started joining through the thing. I don't know whether that's a thing you that's get on it. Weird. And he was just lying there. It's going like back off. to the past, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> what was that one big country? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the hell? I thought this was a slavery game. Like, all, everything. But yeah, I, I just think I'd lose my head if I saw something like that. Like, if them. Notes it's there, weird, though. Just started talking it, to it, me. It, it, but you can come out of it so easy. Yeah. Because you, yeah, yeah. you sort of like get, get into a bit of a trance with it and then you just go, oh, I'm in my yeah. house. Yeah. I get stuck in it. It's I weird. I remember the first time I ever did Ashes, it was like. But I, I didn't even plan on doing it. Like it, it was the night we ordered all the dominoes. We, so we just went to my mates. We were all just sitting there. My mates, it was two of my mates. My mate Josh had like two tabs of acid with him, and he'd done it before. Mm. Me and my mate Elliot had never done it. So we go, do you just want to do half a tab each? And I'll, I'll do the one. He was like, if he's, if he's never done it, he's not going to need much more than that. I was like, nah, I'm all right, me. I was like, I'll, I'll just have a joint, me, you know what I mean? And then they'd done it. And as soon as he'd done it, I was like, Gives a bit of that. He's got a stat now. So it's like half a tab left. Yeah. Like, no, he's just done the full one. And I was like, shit, so we ended up getting more. He's just necked his mate. He <laughs> <laughs> <Gives> that. <laughs> Spit him in the so whole <laughs> and, um, and then fucking... Um, so we were in my mate auntie's, it was. And his cousin was meant to be out for the night in his bed. His mm. auntie was meant to be away for the weekend. And his cousins came back. And then because we stunk a week, because we'd been going outside and having a joint tonight, yeah. he's come in flipping. Told me and my mate goes, You two need to fucking get out now. This is at like three o'clock in the morning. I'm on Everton Brow in some house. They give me my auntie is just chilling. And then um and then so we've ended up having we had to walk from like Everton Brow into into Liverpool one, like by the Adelphi, if you don't know where it is, it's about like, what like a mile and a half. Yeah, yeah. Like, quite quite yeah. a quite a distance. And then we thought me and my mate thought we were getting chased by a smackhead because <laughs> because he come over asking for the asking me mate for a ciggy. And yeah. we mate to be like I, I haven't got any. He did because we were both smoking the cigarette. Mm. He just went shit himself and goes, I haven't got any. And then we've walked we've walked away from him. My mate was like, lad, he's definitely going to chase us for the cigarette. So we've just started with the it. Yeah. I man, I don't think I blinked the whole time. Yeah. I was just like, <laughs> it was just tunnel vision. Man, I was just running and then sat outside the Adelphi, but he got off on me. He got in a taxi and fucked off. Lad. I didn't tell me he was getting in the taxi. Really, yeah. So I was like, I turned around to say something to him and he was gone. So then I started having a proper horrible come down, lad, outside the Adelphi. I feel like... Sat crying outside the Adelphi at, like, four in the morning. <laughs> I feel like with, like, mushrooms and acid and stuff, like, the trippy stuff, like, this is, again, like, an outside... I think, like, films and that, and telly, they sort of... Like, every story I've ever heard, I'm like, I, I reckon I've seen that in some yeah. sort of film. They, they sort of half nail it on. yeah. Uh, but they don't with other drugs like weed and that they mm. never do do they it's all like yo like you do like, sometimes with weed and you watch it and go what are you on about yeah, yeah. you know what I mean yeah. but with mushrooms and that I feel like like that story then could have been out of like fucking uh, some cheating uh, channel have, you seen, have you seen that film with uh, Zach Galifianakis and Robert Downey Jr. called Judy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, And, like, yeah. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr.'s character, like I said, straight up is, we never smoked weed, and Zach Galifianakis is like, I smoke weed all the time. It was yeah. one of them, like, yeah, like yeah. two friends come mm. together and shit like that. And Robert Downey Jr. had, like, three pulls of a joint in the car and give me back. And then he's sitting and then looks outside the window and there's, like, stars flying past yeah, the ceiling right. and that shit like that. Like, no, like, that, that never to be happened. fair, though, I've had that once when I was in Vegas. Really? I had like six hits on this joint and went into the casino and I was like, mate, <laughs> what's going what on here? Yeah. That? There was this like medicinal shit yeah, over there. Yeah, proper, I was like, yeah. I just have little little six hits, it'd be fine. <laughs> Walking through the casinos, I was like, I'm not all right here. <laughs> when it's stood by this escalator Longing. and like a big fucking gang of moody's coming, like, you know, proper gangster looking lads. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, and I was like, 
I was looking at him going, nah, I don't like this, I don't like any of this. <laughs> and he started going up this escalator, and I was like, they'll be gone in a minute, they'll be gone in a minute. I look back, and they were only like two stairs up on the escalator. I'm like, lad, I've been looking away for about half an hour. Yeah, man, it was weird. And I was just like, whoa. And then we went in the subway, and my mate was like, <laughs> where was I getting this crown? I was like, nah. <laughs> no, I was just sat in this yeah. diner. But it was mad because all the diner was done like this fucking 70s, 80s style oh, diner. Yeah. So for a little minute, I was like, where am I, yeah, lad? But it was just, it was, it felt like I was in the past. Yeah. <laughs> it was mad. It was Hitting the jukebox and Yeah, yeah man. So it was just like. I, Vegas now what it used to be, Tuts. Yeah, all. so. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel, I, yeah, I, I started this off saying that, oh, that, the always fucking thing, it was weird, but that was one time I was just like, yeah. I'm going to try and see if I can find I've any other weird ones on Twitter. Or anything like that, like in Amsterdam, I, I went white on the um, train that normally I'm all right with weird or whatever, but. So I, the, the ba- like, I couldn't understand how people were sitting backwards. It was a double decker train. Yeah, and that, like, yeah. and I remember getting, I'm trying to walk forwards and it was going backwards. Went into the hotel and I was like, I don't, me and my bird, and like, we like, we need to go and get some food. There was only one like vending machine downstairs yeah. and that. I ended up ordering, similar to you with Domino's, yeah, like yeah. seven starters of soup. Mm. Just over and over again. <laughs> I was like, I mean, just need more soup. And I like, need a brownie as well. I was like, we don't need any more soup. Just, just more soup. More soup. <laughs> Room service coming in, like, just <laughs> scrambling <laughs> chicken <laughs> soup. That was <laughs> all the things you go to in the way. I was on time for a bit of snow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, soup, just keep bringing the soup up. I was coming in, like, <laughs> Trying to get down, but that's what I mean. We went to that's the we went to the dam with our footy team, and um, we got on the mushrooms. And I'd never plays for Ajax, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we used to have them tournaments when you were like 15, yeah, 16, yeah. and all that. And I'd never taken any drugs before, and we'd got on the mushrooms, like, and I fucking hallucinated to fuck. Was, was this before or after you were assaulted the death kid on the footy <laughs> pitch? <by the> <laughs> before. Yeah. I was an adult when I saw the And um, I was lying there in bed, fucking tripping, thinking my mate was next to me in his bed, and I was like, he's trying to kill me. He's gonna kill me. So I, I went to the kitchen and got a bread knife. Just lied in bed with this bread knife what, on what me. What on? Just on mushrooms. Yeah. And I was like, if he gets up, I'm gonna stab him. I'm gonna butter him. <laughs> no, sorry. I'm when, I say, him when, I say, when I say when I say a bread knife, I mean like a fucking a serrated bread knife. Oh, okay. Okay. oh no, like, <laughs> not a butter knife. No. And I was sitting there all night and I fucking come out of it in the morning. I was like, oh, I was like, lad, last night if you got off for a piss, I was gonna fucking shiv you everywhere. You nearly got utterly butterly last night. I just thought he was trying to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking utterly butterly. <laughs> I nearly no <laughs> packed you last night. Lad. Would have stabbed him up though if he needed a piss. He was getting it. Do you know what I mean? I fucking, I was off <laughs> my barn and I was like, ah. <laughs> he's trying to kill me. He's watched him like that out of one eye going, well, if he gets up, lad, he's getting it. I remember being on the mushrooms once and like, I was convinced, like, usually, like, do you know, you usually do mushrooms and like, they don't always, they don't hit you straight away. It's not mm. like, it's not like acid where, like, as soon as it it's hits you. It's a bit more like an edible, it, isn't it? Like, it just sort of sneaks its way in, yeah, and then next yeah. minute you're like, what? I, I was on the most streams and ours once, and I get, well, not in ours, I came back while I was still sipping. And um, the yeah, yeah. as if you're mad at any of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just and, um, and then for, she'd, 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 she'd bring the police, you know, she'd bell blood on me. Like, <laughs> and, um, and like, so I was sitting, like, and I was walking home. I look, was when I got back and I was convinced I'd killed my family, you know? Yeah. Like, I was sitting in my room and I was like, I can't eat. It was like two in the morning as well, so they were all obviously asleep. I think my little brother was on FIFA, but he was just he was just chilling on FIFA. Yeah. He wasn't making any noise. And I was thinking, why can't I hear people up and about? And then in my head, I was going, I've killed them. They're all dead. I was, yeah. like, I was like, I must have came in and killed them. And now I don't remember killing my whole yeah. family. And I had to go into my little brother's room and just go and say hello to him to make sure like, he was he was alive. Like, I was opening the door, like, <laughs> mad, squinting and shit. Like, that'd, that'd be enough to do. I'd never do anything. I'd never have a cup of coffee again if something happened to me. I'd just no. leave the plot, I think, yeah. What's that one where you've got to go and get like, a fucking shaman or whatever? The ayahuasca. Oh, that's ayahuasca, ayahuasca, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you, like, you fucking go and, like, because Paul Smith's done it a couple of times. No, Paul, Paul's done, done DMT. DMT, he spoke about uh, it. You can get that on Instagram that if you want it. Can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, um, yeah like, I used to work with, we were out in the van in work one day. And like, Everyone's on it now, it's mad. You haven't yeah. picked up the little bottles of vape juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it, just, it just didn't look any different than no. just vape liquid. Seems like yeah. an event now, like doing it. It doesn't seem like you just have it, like watching the telly and now you can't just have a little go. It seems like you have to... Oh, like I don't know, like it's like a bit of a thing. Yeah. <laughs> they, like it feels like a weekend, like the bow and arrows out loud and everything. You have to go full in the paint on it. That's yeah. what, I, I, it, only, that, it only lasts like ten minutes though. Yeah, yeah. The the time time ayahuasca it. lasts like six hours. It's or like something. a proper sand yeah. with ayahuasca, isn't it? Don't, isn't it like if you go to South America you do like a four day like 
Like, you know, so it's like, 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 but it's like a proper page, though, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. I've got an idea in my head or something. I don't know whether it's someone change it before. No, I you know. Like, like when you go to like, do the ayahuasca, do you want thing, to it's like a ritual. Let's have it first. You have to turn up with a load of Reiki drummers, just scran and bison everywhere. Yeah, like two days of like. I've done a live pay per view boxing match before. I'm not talking about a different island. No, the only time I've ever done DMT. I, like I cover because like, it was only the vape liquid that mm. I done, so it wasn't like you, even if you smoke it, it's more intense again than the vape liquid yeah. apparently. And then um, like I didn't go into like the tunnel or anything. It was it was just it was just like the, like I could just see patterns. Like it yeah, wasn't like yeah, yeah. there was no walls or it was just patterns. You just had the joints and had the kaleidoscope. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like that. Like, like, yeah. like, 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 is that what they call? I, I think so. I just yeah, I, yeah. I, I was in my head. I'm not going to say anything. I've got a clue. Yeah, 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 I always get mixed up with that other one. You'll over the wall. Yeah, 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 I was going to say I come back. Yeah, it was weird as fuck. Like, when I covered my eyes, I could see me room normally. But yeah, then when yeah. I took my hands away from my eyes, it was just patterns, and I was like, "What the fuck's it's going mad, on?" Man. And it was horrible. So like, I mean, I don't know. It like it, it, it like scared me a bit. Yeah. I could just hear, like mm-hmm. shut your eyes. And but your it, whole dead dead it's it's mad that you won't do like <laughs> psych- I did kill them that time. <laughs> it's mad that you won't do like psychedelics and that that like grow out the ground. But you've just talking about doing like pure MCAT and oh no I'll definitely <laughs> you used to do MCAT. oh no I'll definitely oh, do it I'm not just having I'll definitely oh, okay, do it no I've got right, no yeah. issues in it I'd, I'd well and shoot oh, like died. spice yeah but mostly no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. don't bother with that that was when I was like 17 now I'm 29 now which is a long time ago but did you I'd do, definitely dive into like did you do muscle. salvia yeah, it's yeah, that's meant to be mad. That what was it. That was the weirdest. It's like, it's like a synthetic. I think it's basically spice. You could buy it, it was from legal like for a bit. Herman, like, yeah. yeah, fucking black mamba or something. Like. Yeah, it was. I some g- woman come up to me outside Doctor Herman's and was like, well, "You go in for some black mamba for me." <laughs> I was like, "What are you on about?" And they were like, "Fuck some off!" Like, comes out. I think I'm here. Come on, we make this for that. Like. <laughs> Yeah, just some big black on. fella's sword <laughs> over your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, 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 there's like different levels of it. That's mm. that thing. And I remember going, in, this is like 2007. Yeah. Yeah. Before Spice was famous, basically. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, it's it's Spice before it was cool. Whoever's, yeah. Well, no, whoever's, whoever the Spice PR fella is, like, has fucked it. Like, Isn't I that think. black fella who rides the horse, the old Spice advert? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's... Don't matter. Um, nah, and it, different type of Spice. Yeah. Think, Gary. <laughs> and I, I went into Dr. Herman's in Chester. I was like... I think we were trying to get weed or trying to get beers. I was like 17. Mm. I remember there was spice, like you could just buy spice yeah. like that. And then Cajun. something called happy pills as well, which were like synthetic Gary's basically, I think. And then, mad. and then, um, Finger, Imagine yeah. having the balls to take a synthetic, oh, synthetic horrible. pill like it's Gary's of themselves. Yeah. They're not natural. No, yeah. I don't fuck with any of that. Like, <laughs> no, no, fuck that. I, but no, I got I all this, that little mushroom growing off the ground. I love like, that. Like, oh, yeah, just yeah. launch that in. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'd, 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 get, I'd get stuck in. I just never have. I don't know why. Yeah, it's quite nice if you only do like two grams, man. You won't really even pleasant, get like visuals, and yeah, you just yeah. fucking you feel like you've made a lead, and you just start laughing. Loads. No, that's what, yeah, I'd like to do. I like to do a DMT. I, I don't think I'm. Yeah, I'm a bit like that. I, I don't done think I did DMT again. To be honest, like I've done it that one time. Nah, like, you have I think... to. If you want to do it, you have to fucking blast off and. Yeah, and, and like obviously Smith, that's Smith what I mean, was saying he was riding a fucking a black serpent around the universe yeah. and that. And then I, was, I was literally watching. <laughs> Honestly, I was literally watching the clips and that on TikTok the other day. Yeah. And it was fu- he said that fella sat up and started speaking to him in a different language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. said, "I've just uh, like uh, the uh, fucking. I've just moved a star." He said. He said, "He said the master of the universe give me his power, and I moved a star." And he told me to tell you, you have to go back in. And Paul was like, all oh, right. I'm yeah. right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what's going on here. And that's what I mean. Oh, I, I, that, I, in. that Megan Fox as well, she did it with uh, Machine Gun Kelly. They did mm. an interview about it recently. They? The like, last person yeah. I'd want to be sipping on is Machine Gun Kelly, you know. Yeah, imagine imagine, imagine being man. like, yeah. like, like, like sipping's the most vulnerable state you can be in. Like, that's and he walks in with, he walks in fucking... He's walking across the kitchen. Fuck off with you. I am the weed, or whatever he says. I am weed. I am weed. He's there trying to convince you he is. Fucking chill He's on the pull, man. Lizard lips, man. <laughs> Just chill out, like. He's on the pull, man. Remember when fucking Conor McGregor tried to hit him? But like, but like, if you're swinging a dick at any man that's got pearls glued to his face, you are a dick. Because yeah. yeah. he's yeah. already going through a bad enough time as it is, clearly. <laughs> he's, he's got pearls. He's got pearls. Yeah, you're the DJ. Yeah, some Italian DJ. You're the DJ. You wanted to nail um, Bella Thorne or whatever it was. I think that's yeah. the story behind her. She left the party and he went. Conor McGregor was like, you know I'm not gonna do an impression. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> and, uh, tried, like, you tried. Yeah, like, you tried, and then you went on. Oh, like, I'll stop. It'll just that. be a generic Irish, like, and um, it's Indian McGregor. And 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 he yeah, chilling because she left while his wife sat there. Like, nah, he's horrible, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's maddening. 
It's mad that he's five foot eight as well. You it's know? mad that people still fucking buzz off him so much. Oh, no, like, I don't, uh, I what never, do you have like... to do for someone to go? All right, I've had enough of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I thought punching an old fella in the pub would, would have been it. Because he didn't have a, one of his horrible whiskeys, yeah. by the way. He had yeah, the taste of his whiskey. Oh, it's isn't it? It's like Glenn's, but brown. Paul Smith fucking slated as a fuck, didn't he? Yeah. It's not good, lad. It's not nice at all. No. It's 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 just, it tastes like what I'd imagine out as eight I see to taste like that. Do you know if you've left a bottle of Lipton's in the store? Yeah. I get that too. Yeah. You go back to, it. to be yeah. fair though, I've Fox never man. had a whiskey and went, oh. Not nice yet. Do you know the only I always got a whiskey drink. I'm I'm I might be an I, I, I I'm an alcoholic, I think though, in that sense. I, oh, I like, like, no, no, I'm not because I, I like to the taste of whiskey. I alcohol taste. <laughs> I like a it. drink. I like drinking. I like the drink. you like it or not? Like What's in that bottle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I like um, a drink and I like punching I like women. Drink, I like <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Sure. He's really painting a good picture of himself. <laughs> nah, and uh, I guess I quite like the taste of whiskey, except for like scotch, would taste like petrol. Mm. So I think, but I think proper twelve. I think it just. I like I bourbon. Don't know. I just is it bourbon don't know. or bourbon? Yeah. Is it bourbon? bourbon? It's whatever. You yeah. want I, like, I like bourbon. I like bourbon. bourbon. So, like so, bourbon. You know, I'm a cream <laughs> fan. Jack, Jack, Malted milks are all right. Yeah. Jack Daniels, it, where it's created, it's actually a dry state. They're not allowed to drink there, yeah. are they? I don't know. Oh, really, yeah. Know. What? It's mad. So it's a, it's a dry so it's state, different states in America, uh, like a fucking status of a dry state. Is alcohol still illegal in some places? Yeah, you're not allowed to drink. Well, so what I got told you're not allowed to drink and when I fucking researched that you're allowed it in fucking... Doses like, do you know what I mean? Michael dosing your jet. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's some places in America now that are starting to treat depression with like MDMA and psilocybin. Yeah, and there's some states that are like, I don't have a drink, yeah. you can't do that. They were talking about fucking um, legalising it here, man. Like, Which psilocybin? Yeah, yeah. Like, just so you can research it now, because at the minute it's like three grand a gram to research or something, something stupid like that. We looked it up the other day. Like just you well, can't I think I'm gonna fucking be, do it. I think I'm gonna partake in some independent research as once that becomes yeah, legal. Yeah. <laughs> Might have a little. There's a med- that. additional marijuana thing though, isn't it? Called um, Sapphire Unlimited or something. Is that like the big thing medical. in Runcorn? The, there's a, apparently yeah. right, right. I'll, t- I'll, have, to go into, I'll have to go into this after <laughs> the break. Yeah, but I, I was at, I was at like I was out once and we were at some little event in this little bar. There was some fella they like, just mixing on like some decks and that. And we were all like, we were all half our barnet, and there's been this kid sitting there across the table. And we go, you do you know, right? Weed's illegal in this country, but in Runcorn, he goes, I, I, so I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what this is, like, I don't know what this is. But in Runcorn, he goes, he goes, but in Runcorn, he goes, there's a big warehouse by so many square feet and shit like that, and they're growing some of the best weed in the world. And the reason they're doing it is because they're selling it to medicinal companies all over the world, and that's yeah, why they don't want it legal yeah, over yeah. here. And then he goes, and you know who owns it? I was like, here he goes, Teresa May's yeah. husband. Yeah. Is that what's actually yeah, true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't, I didn't know he was in Runcorn. Like. I thought he was in Devon. I don't know, but that is true, that, yeah. It, yeah. Might, it might be all really? over. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> Snide. I thought he was just chatting chicken. You can see on Google Maps. I was proper invested in this. I went, wait, what's he doing? Don't you Runcorn? record? I was like... Don't yeah. you record your podcast in Runcorn? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah He's that. off Galavan. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, man. But so, yeah. just on that, like, with your podcast and stuff, like, you know a bit about it. The, the idea is Mild High Club. That, that's mm. from, like... Yeah, well, it was basically it started sort of me and my bed just yeah. in ours, getting whiffed and just chatting shite, like. Nice. And then, yeah, just carried on. People's, right. People seem to enjoy it. And then, like, so every now and then we do edibles and they just go off the rails because yeah, you're just yeah, fucking yeah. chatting absolute nonsense. It's got a good, like, good balance between you and your bird. Oh, it's it's yeah, man. Funny, the way, like, yeah, it's good. Yeah. People seem to enjoy it. So, so just keep doing it. And you just carry on chatting. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good because she can have a laugh as well. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can yeah. proper rinse her and she's not arsed. Yeah, yeah. Because she'll do it to me. She makes me look like a knobhead as well. It's good, man. Yeah, so uh, you run, you run your own comedy night as well, don't you? Yeah, in man. Started yesterday in the Jacarenda. Um, open <coughs> mic sign up uh, if anyone wants to have a go a comedy. Uh, t- yeah, t- man, t- it was t- nice. Well, yeah, quid. T- 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 only a pound for from. four hours of comedy. Yeah, it's a marathon like, but it yeah, was good. Yeah, yeah. It was, a good it was fun. Yeah, I was happy that like a lot of the crowd ended up staying because that was my worst worry. because yeah, it ran on for so long. A couple of people like got off, which is understandable, but because it was sold out. Didn't make too much of a difference. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, hopefully, nice little vibe. And then, like, if you want to do, it was it was a good place if you want if you're doing comedy for the first time. It felt well. super yeah. supportive, man. Didn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it, you, you knew it was like a nice room because there was new acts who were like second time on stage mm, and yeah, they were yeah. doing well. Yeah, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And, and like, it even the worst people, people, people like. on done sound yeah, yeah. yeah. I need apart from the fellow who I wanted to fucking tackle off stage because he wouldn't get off oh well yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nah, stick that was to it, your like, times yeah. <laughs> yeah. that was it like, when it like there was an element even like a few people like wanted to get off early and stuff because whatever was the first time yeah, they, they didn't even 
feel embarrassed or anything. It was a yeah. Nice yeah. Day, but um, I think it's because the Liverpool scene doesn't have many sort of comedy nights no. like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And when I first got into comedy, like when I was trying to research for like open mic nights, I kept coming up saying, oh, the Jack used to run a fucking really good open mic yeah. night. Well, hot, that was hot water. Yeah. Like, and, and then Is that where when, they started? That yeah. was it? Yeah. So when, you, when you announced it, everyone was like, oh, I can't believe the up, Jack's yeah. starting again. And everyone was fucking buzzing. Yeah, there was a massive yeah. buzz going There's on. There's a boss little yeah. room for it, man. Yeah. Like, it's sick. When the Jack, when they stopped doing it in the Jack, I had a meeting with the shipping co- forecast next door mm. to do a comedy night in their basement. Yeah. Um, I ended up having to back out because all my comedians backed out. So I had to ring up and pretend that one of my mates' mums died. Who oh, was right. to be a comedian. <laughs> yeah. Like we were like, "What should we do?" He's like, "Oh yeah, like His Ricky's mum died." Like, Selfish cunt. Because we had to leave it because we were just like it was embarrassing. But they said at that time it was because there was a successful night there, so they, and that's finished. Right. And it came in. So I never did the. I did the hot water in my first gig up here mm. when it was in the. <clears throat> Seal Holiday Street. Inn. Oh, okay, yeah, right. On the top of the thing, I did it. That that was the first time I did it. Well, they had the, they had it, and then uh, the girl Shell Biden, she was running it for a bit. That might have been the one mm. that was on. Yeah. While it, it, the shipping forecast we're talking about. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, all right, okay. So it's a different thing. Yeah, oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I hosted my own ones for like literally two weeks in mm. you know the, you know that bad scholar yeah man um, I'm, I probably shouldn't have said the name of the bar because I've not got many nice things to say about the bar <laughs> but uh, the, the manager himself was sat yeah. absolutely lovely um, but, like I only done two nights there the first one went dead well like there was people who were like brand new to it came <clears> on yeah you were there for the, was yeah, the first and second one you were yeah, there for yeah, yeah. Um, I was there the first one as well. You, first yeah, one, you came yeah, down yeah. the first one, didn't yeah. you? Um, and like the first one went dead well. There was people, it was the same as what you said, and there was people who were brand new, but who were doing well. Everyone mm. was like being like, there was no one who felt uneasy there, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And um, there, was, there was a dead good crowd in and that. And then the second one, there was like loads of members of staff who weren't working the night, but who wanted to come down to just, just to watch because there was yeah, a lad right. who, was, who was doing a shift there on the night call. I can't remember his name, I think Isaac or something. Mm. He had his suit on. Yeah, he did, he did. Um, oh, that's important. Like, and <laughs> he was well dressed for the occasion. Yeah. And he'd never done comedy, but he'd been writing for a bit, wanted to have a go. So he was, I, I was like, come on, I'll do five minutes, lad. I was like, yeah, by all yeah. means. Um, so a couple of the members of staff who worked with him, who just came on on the day off just to watch it and that. And then they were just sitting right dead centre at the front. Phones were ringing, yeah. they were just like being dead loud and shit like that. And there was like a, there was a, a table of all girls who worked there, yeah. and then one lad who came with them, he was like five foot yeah. six, this little bald, he fell at the top of little two said lad. And he, everyone, and I mean everyone wearing who got on stage, he was just heckling everyone. But like, do you know the way if someone heckles, you can have a laugh with it, yeah, right? It was everyone. Every single honorable. laugh, every time. I didn't even change joke. my set because I I, I, I I went on there to do a bit about um a bit about how long it takes me to have sex with like my dad and Anna and that, but I couldn't even get to the punchline. <laughs> the sales like, in nice. <clears throat> no, I couldn't get my punchline in because every t- every time I was saying it was like how long it takes me to have sex and that he was going liar. Yeah, I was like yeah. It was every, every time someone yeah. tried to tell yeah. a joke, he was just bam 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 there again. And he tried to make because I said to him, I went, "Are you the like the joker in your office?" And yeah. All, right? and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I went, "Do you want to get up and he was like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Well, you never." Dean yeah. Alders because he, like, he looked like Stone Cold Steve Austin, but he yeah. was dead little than a little juice head. And Dean Alders called him Stone Cold Steve Autism. You know, <laughs> I think it was, I was <laughs> a shout out. Yeah. It was brilliant. You know, it was um, a mad. That was a mad one. Yeah, like yeah. all sorts. To front me after it, though, you know, yeah, yeah. Did, 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 were you still here with your bird? Like, yeah, so I, Alex I, came I down with his bird, and, and after it, he's come over and been like, oh, it, was a, it was a crack of that way, it was a laugh. Dad, I was like, You weren't, I went, You've been yeah. being a dickhead. I was like, Call me a bin bag, didn't they? Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I got a top knot. He was like, Everyone called you a bin bag. A couple of me mates were there, and he was. And, <laughs> Oh, he was a dickhead. It was man. a weird man. Like, like, he dragged me away from me mates to speak to me and that. Yeah. And then he was he like, wanted to get on the stage when yeah. he was like, should I let him up and let him die on his ass? That's what it was. I think he should have done. To get up, I went trying to get on. He was like, and his no, face. No, he went, no, yeah, no, no. He went, yeah, 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 yeah. And looked to you to be like, get me on, like. And I went, I just went, you'll never. Should have just said. Should have just gone on and just heckled. <laughs> yeah, full yeah, house of him. Like he's a liar every today, time he said something. <laughs> yeah, I just proper had him off. Just yeah, like yeah. made him oh, like man, cry on stage. Yeah, just good. yeah, I said to him the night. I said he looked like this type of person to complain about IPA options in a Tony mm. Carver. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was just like one of them. Like he's just annoying for no reason. Like, yeah, they're the worst yeah, people. Man. Man. He had leather boots on with proper, and I, when I say flared jeans, I mean flared jeans. Yeah, I think yeah. they boots were boots and shoes. Like, they were boot cuts, them. Well. They, they were proper horrible <laughs> boot cuts. <laughs> <laughs> and he just had these big. Big leather fellas on with them. Yeah. I was just thinking, <laughs> you just keep quiet, don't you? If you got that yeah. boots on, like in any sort of situation, <laughs> if you come on a night out with leather boots on, 
Yeah. And I don't mean dark Martins, I mean like you could tell like, like you could see the outline of his boots fairly high up his yeah. leg on the yeah. Some yeah. major cowboy. Yeah, like put on the yeah. other yeah. 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 come out with them fucking tan rigger boots yeah. and all the work he's done for me. Steal his jeans like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, he was horrible. Like, he was probably trying to flump, you know, I was like, I do his favourite going sit back down and listen. Punched his head in. It's mad when you get them type of people that are comedy nights in it. Yeah, yeah. They just think they're the funniest one there. Why is everyone listening to these when I'm here? Yeah. I don't mind it. I, I like to bounce off it sometimes in a way, but like when it's like that much, it's just just annoying, isn't it? Like they it's just irritating. You sort yeah. of like, oh, okay, I, I can have a bit of a laugh here and that. Sometimes you just gotta go, hey, shut up now. Yeah, just, yeah, you've got to tell them that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But, the, but that's the difference between like running nights in booze and all that, and the likes of the comedy clubs and that. Because hot yeah. water don't have any of it. Like even when like the the compares on, yeah. they'll have a bit of back and forward with the crowd. But yeah. I was there a few weeks back, and this fella shouted out twice. When Danny Mac wasn't even talking to mm. him, and the security just went, nah, see you later, lad, just yeah, talk yeah. about because it's just going to ruin the show for everyone. Yeah, yeah. to be fair, especially, so especially, especially, especially when a comedy club's quite well known and quite famous yeah. for what it's doing as well. Yeah. You just can't hear yeah. But then they go online going, heads. oh, we got kicked out for laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you never. No, you never. Like, I, I did the party pad the other last week on. <laughs> that's road. a mad kick, that is. Like, honestly, it was like, it was a lion's den. Like, yeah, yeah. We it's got heckles there. And like, that was mad. We had one kid, he looked like he'd been drinking with a fucking hand wash or something. Yeah. So bad. You know, like he's just on the edge going, sounds like a you problem. You don't need to play in heckling. Was that Adam Hughes? Yeah, Adam Hughes. <laughs> 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 he, he, he killed him to be fair. Like Adam, like just yeah, went on it for like ten minutes. Adam's so like, good at like just killed sorting him them room, rooms yeah. out, isn't he? Because he, he like thrives in them. But he is. But he, I said, I said to you before, he um, introduced me as like. Uh, a local lad from Liverpool on Walton Road, and I'm it's clearly from Chester, like, yeah. So I stood <laughs> as I got on the stage. He's got like, leather boots in front of me. <laughs> I got on the stage and went, "Hi everyone, you all right?" <laughs> and these kids went, "You're not from around here. You're from Birkenhead." I went, "Chester." Does <laughs> <laughs> that make you better? <laughs> I was fuming. Like, they were young. They were like seventeen and that. And I went through the audience. Like, what's the score here? I went, "Looks like a crew of like." Kids and whatever, I've never seen it. I've never done an audience where I've bought Polly off everyone. He's mm. like, like definitely like, all sat there just staring at me. And then I went yeah. to this one kid. I went, you like everybody in Pirates of the Caribbean. And he's went, what's what's that? I was like, oh, <laughs> it's the yeah, end of the too game. Yeah, 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 young. Yeah, far too young. The yeah. busy stand up there once because they fucking they were all drinking. They were like raiding it for underage drinking. And all that. It was bizarre. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was bizarre. Well, You're it. standing in a speedboat with a hot tub on and a shark. Yeah, on all twelve year olds fucking snorting off a hot tub and all that. It's mad. Yeah, they had a comedian on there, and he was dead sound to be fair. But like, you could see it probably wasn't his room and that, or his beer garden or whatever it was. And um, and he. He was like, he was getting heckled and he was he was quite middle class and posh and that. And he kept trying to like quote Nietzsche. Oh, yeah, that's going to work. Isn't like, it? he was like, because someone went, like, you're a dick anyway. Know, yeah, they don't know Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to know what Nietzsche is. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> and he, yeah, and I was just sat there going, this just isn't it. Like, this isn't the case. Like, I ended up doing quite a while, you know, 12 minutes on a phone. Oh. They're the worst, man, when someone's absolutely dying and they just won't get just off. Yeah, it's just like, just, just yeah, bail yeah, it, will yeah. you? It was clear that everyone was going to die. Like, have it, yeah. I was gigging in Manchester a few weeks back and he was a comic. I'm not going to name names. He was doing a bit of cats and it didn't work mm. and he dragged it out for about 12 minutes just yeah, cat yeah. material oh, yeah. and it was so the whole room was so quiet and I was like but then he come off and he go uh, smash that yeah. smash that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, hold on yeah. just sit there uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. a nice tight 10 minutes on cats yeah, yeah. Like, I've right. done that before where I've been like but I'm not <laughs> no. where you like come off and like you're probably swimming in Egypt you're like in denial about it because you're like and I was good. I'm gonna look at it from a point of view of like growth. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> going time, I'm like, no, it's going to go well. I'm like, yeah. But yeah. I'm looking at it from a perspective of like, I'll grow on this. I think when you, I think when I you come off to after go. the set, and the only good thing you can take from it is, well, I know I can learn from that. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, a good set. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Learning gigs coming off of that. On stage, sad <laughs> now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we were all having a nice laugh then. Uh, no, no. Panic attack. No, it, it wasn't like a. It was a fun panic attack. Oh, those lights oh. are panic attack. Fun panic attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can tell you're from Chester. You can have a laugh with this one. You know what I mean? Oh, we're yeah, talking about getting off our tits on mushrooms and acid, and you're like, oh, oh, panic attacks kept me yeah. going. I got under the laughing joke. Don't even get me started. The most anxiety. Yeah. 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 Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. So. Uh, 
Uh. Any other gig stories you've got? Uh, um, you must have a few. You're, you've been. Yeah, you've been about for a while, haven't you? Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, I don't know. I always feel like I've only, I'm only just starting. Me, I've only yeah, been I on like like, that, like four years, but one of them years is, doesn't really count because it was yeah, COVID, yeah. wasn't it? So like, um, my my biggest turning point in comedy was just having a breakdown on stage, and then because you know oh. you got you got to like find your voice, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And for a while, it was like you know everyone does the same sort of. You you got this material written for the most part. Some people don't do it, and um. But you've got it written and remembered, and it's word by word, and you know, like, yeah, yeah. don't, I don't, don't think stray that's the best from way to it. Do it. But I think it's just when you, when you first start, and if you're trying to just do your own shit without yeah. robbing other yeah. bits off, off people, and that you, that's, well, that's how I started anyway. It was, it's come it's like across script, quite yeah. quite scripted, yeah. yeah. Even yeah. even no matter how hard you try, you can tell when someone's doing it because they might they'll fumble a word and then they'll go, oh, yeah, back, back to in. the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas now you just sort of, I just sort of go, fucking what? Fuck, like, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I, I was a gig in in New Zealand and uh, someone was like, oh, a little corporate, um, like a Christmas party. Do you want to book three comedians? I was like, yeah, go ahead, I'll come and do it. Did you gig in New Zealand? Yeah, I went over there for like That's six it, months, man. man. Yeah, um, and then it's a long gig that lad. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I was like, in the jack. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was so good at in the jack. Like, in the right. marathons, like. But um, yeah, so I was doing this corporate, and as I went on, they started bringing food out, which isn't ever good. No, um, no. So everyone's just talking, scranning, eating the food and that, and I was like, what, what's happening here? Like, what, what are we doing? Yeah. Right? What, what's, what, what's happening? happening? <laughs> um, <laughs> but, I, but, but I was trying to do my me, me, me material, and like a couple of people were listening, and I was like, this isn't working. I'm going to have to just like, just, just, just bail out yeah. and just. But I was like, I'm doing me full time because I'm getting paid yeah, for it. Yeah, yeah. So then I was like, just showing to the, the people who was listening. I was just talking to, just chatting to, and then like showing them my tattoos and that. And then, and then they were like, "What others have you got?" And I was like, "Fuck this, man! <laughs> what, is it? what is this? I've like some sort of fucking some freak that you just stand in the corner yeah. and just point at?" And I was like, "How the fuck am I meant to compete with cold meat?" And everyone's like, Enjoy. "But then, because I just started going mad and just like fuming on everyone." You can see people start listening, going, "What's he on about here?" Because yeah, people yeah, were laughing at, at the point that I was just having a fucking like meltdown, existential crisis. And on then stage. after then, I was like, "Do you know what? Like, they're just people." Yeah, 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 like yeah. You get on stage and you're like, oh my God, these are like scared. But if you, I just go up now and go, I'm just one of you, I'm just up just here. here today. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. now I feel like just just chatting now. Yeah. Like some like sometimes they do sets now and you just go up with no material. Yeah. And, and you go, oh, sick, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think once you start being able to do that is when you start like you properly. I remember doing a gig in North Wales in Molden was a comedian on, I can't remember his name. And I, w- I was emceeing the night, and it was a bit of a nightmare gig. Like, the spotlight was just on my dick for, mm. like, the first act, and I didn't realise. I was pronouncing mould wrong, apparently. And the other one was fuming. How do you me. pronounce mould wrong? Because I kept going, it's like, actually, what's happening, mould? It's actually it? mould. Because <laughs> it's in Wales, I kept going on being like, oh, what, what's going on, mould? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mould. <laughs> no, it was a bit of that, because I was like, so, Yeah, I was like, oh, how are we today? What have been up to, mould? Kept saying, and I went off the stage, and my dad was in the audience, he went, um, every time you say mould, everyone's fuming at you and I was like okay I'll ask him when I come back home like, <laughs> I keep saying mould but like where are we like because you keep fuming at me and <sighs> some woman went you're in Glen and I really hope this mad like oh it's like ca- Cal Fain or Cal something, yeah, something mad in it went, oh so mould it is then yeah, the rest yeah, of the evening mold, like, if something you said is the audience is mould the, got me you know <laughs> what you just went, it's actually chamol. Yeah. Right? It's just, it just got to like, that, you know. So yeah. you use it in the middle of a conversation, you know, when something just catches the corner of your eye. He's got a book called Crap Taxidermy, right? Oh, that's amazing. Have a look at that, man. Go do some of their so photos. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not great podcast material. No, yeah. Yeah. Get them all on there. Say get it on the camera, they'd be good by the shit taxi. Oh, that's oh, man. <laughs> oh, like, oh, like, this is not a mushroom book. I, yeah. I want to know why the two rabbits here are just in a jar. Turn as if you can get that on the camera at all. I don't know if you can see any there's of this. Two dead rabbits in a jar. Like there. Absolutely terrible. In a snow globe. There's there. one that where it's like a ferret with like a beer bottle inside yeah. it. It's just coming out of its mouth near the back. Oh. Sorry, sorry for throwing yeah. shit. Yeah. Spoilers, man. Any spoilers in the book? There. There. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Though. Oh my goodness me. Oh my god, they're awful. Yeah, <laughs> Look it up, crap crap taxidermy. Yeah, by crap cat taxidermy. Um, Curry, that, isn't it? We yeah, just I love a cat we mentioned cats and then I just seen a cat on the table and I went, Oh, what's going on here? And I was like, it just threw me to it and I had to get in. I keep knocking the gremlin behind me, you know. Like, it looks like you twins. What gremlin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what gremlin yeah. Put the glasses right. on, lad. <laughs> Put them glasses on, lad. Fucking mm. twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, it's just looking at you, you know, yeah. like the whole time. Like. That's what I mean. I keep catching it in the corner of my eye. I'm just like, I keep forgetting it's there. Like, every time, on my back every also. time you look at it, his eyes go. Yes. <laughs> 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 look, if you watch this footage back, yeah, he's staring at me the whole yeah. time, and then you look at him and he goes, It's, it's you looking back on yourself on the acid lab. Oh, Twisted. I did, it's fucking, I just keep feeling it's clawing on my back and shitting myself. It's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> but yeah, how long have we done on that then, Gary? 16 in. 16 minutes in, how long's that on top? About 45 ish. Yeah. I think we'll call that. Call that yeah, man, then. sweet, sounds yeah, good. Dean, thank you for yeah. coming yeah. Nice one for having me, man. Nice having you. Right, Love the conversation. Opportunity to plug anything, lad. Uh, oh, yeah. Follow me on Instagram, Dean Coglin underscore. Uh, go check out the Mild High Club and come down to Jack on Monday, you rats. Yeah. One pound tickets for four hours of comedy. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's usually a, I'm trying to get Pro Axe on to open it as well. So last week, Adam Rowe was on. And then uh, killed Freddie Quinn's so coming down next week and oh, just trying to trying to fill up the first bit with pro <coughs> acts so at least uh, you get a decent act. Is the link to tickets on your Instagram, isn't it? Yeah, man. So and there's, a, there's his own link. Instagram as well, Dopamine Fiends. Yeah, yeah man. There'll be a link to all Follow of this that. in the description of the video as well if you're interested in any not we spoke mm. about on it, any of the social medias or the comedy nights or even Dean's podcast, the Mild High Club. Yeah, links are in the description. Thanks again for is it Mogwai? Mogwai. He's here, Mowgli. Thanks again to Mogwai Tattoo Studio as well in Liverpool. Yeah. They do all sorts, you know, of course, tattoos. Um, and CBD as well, so if you're interested, get down, have a little look. And yeah, nice one for watching. See you in the next one. See you later. Peace in out. In a bit. Cheers.